Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we'll look through a simple Node.js project structure. If you have just started learning Node.js and looking for some battery structure, this can be one of your choice. Let's get started. So I have already prepared the code. I'll simply show you the code structure and I'll share you the Git repo as well. this simple simple structure so let's start with the app I have this app js here we'll, we are simply importing the express and just the basic express application uh, but we won't start listening in this file we'll simply create set up all the express stuff here and simply export this app okay so we started listening to this on this server.js and here we first connect to the database and our database connection is in here in the db directory we will create the database connection and when the database connection is established we will start the server okay so let's check our routes and we have the route directory and I have this route okay so first for the home page simple hello and we have this api route here and this will catch every other which are not handled in the routes okay and for the api we have this index we will simply uh, return the api for the slash slash api and for other route we have this user routes and here is our user request all request to the user okay so we have this user controller here and user auth for the middleware and whenever the post request came we simply provide it to this user controller and here is our controller index.js so in this controller we simply create a user controller and pass all the controller variable and export it there so for the create user we are using this edit you and stuff let's check that first and we have this model inside model we have a user directory and inside user we have this index.js uh, this is simple mongoose model first name email and password and we have this DTO for validation and in our controller whenever we get data we first validate it if there is error we'll return the validation error and if not we'll let it go the value are stored on the value the value so since this is just a demo we are we are not using any hashing any stuff in the production you should use that and whenever we prepare this data now we pass this to the service okay and here is the service service for the user and user service will simply save the data in the database and it will do nothing more than that now uh, we pass this the create user to get the value and it will save okay now if we look through this whenever we are working with uh, this controller we just have to worry about preparing the data and hashing the data and pre-processing whatever the data is needed once we have done that we will simply pass that data to the service okay now we don't need to worry about what and how to save the data in the database and in the validation process we will simply pass this to the validation process and it will handle all the validation if there is any error uh, we will simply pass that error message back to the user okay so by doing so we separate the concern in the service we will simply interact with the database and the controller will talk to the database through service layer and in the model we have the validation object here we are using Zoe and here is our database model that's it Pretty, pretty simple and easy to use.
थैंक यू